All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's been quite a while. Welcome back to Banjo Race here on Twitch.tv. And we're so excited to bring you the culmination of the beginning of the 2023 bingo season with our fourth uh, annual bingo tournament, if you will. Um, this is the Press F to Play Bingo Tournament. We'll talk a little bit more about what that means here in a moment. But welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's had a great relaxing winter break. And we're back and ready to get some more bingo action on the way here on the Banjo Race channel. Um, today is going to be really exciting. Today is not actually a tournament match, but today is a, an exhibition match between two of our participants in the next tournament. We've got Schlongster going up against Sunderstorm. This was just a nice little idea to get hype for this tournament, to show the new format that we're going to be using, and of course, for there to be some more great bingo content coming to you live on the Banjo Race channel. So we're really excited about that. Uh, I've got my boy Captain Cole uh, joining me on commentary for today, and I'm going to go ahead and preface our tournament with a big shout out to captain cole because he worked really hard to create the format um on your skip that we will be seeing throughout the tournament the press f format which again we'll take a look at that here in a second uh but not only that he set up a not a lot of really great uh layout stuff for your skip uh that's going to make this tournament look really nice uh and you know i can't thank him enough for you know helping me with these bingo tournaments uh, let's go ahead and tune in to the runners. Doing How are we stupid? doing today, runners? Oh, yeah. not great. Um, I'm trying <laughs> break in. <laughs> Sunder is working on break in. Schlongster is working on other tricks. How are you guys <laughs> feeling about this tournament? Um, Schlongster, you better win because this is going to be really <laughs> pathetic. <laughs> I think we're both rusty. This, this, this no, don't a, walk in there. A nice rusty, rusty match. We can't wait. It's going to be so much fun. Uh, let's go ahead and get our runners up on the board. You can see Schlongster. Wow, he's confident. He's in the main menu. He's ready to go. Sunder, yeah. still working on the break-in. Oh. Entering with the clockwork. You hate to see it, but that's okay. Uh, okay, are both of you guys ready to go? You guys ready to get this thing underway? I am as ready. As best you can. Um, as ready as I'll ever be. All Wait, right. not true. I, I got a question, though. Do we yeah, push yeah. start or start C? Uh, you can press either, I believe, right, Cole? And it'll I think when you up. press start seed, it, it opens up all the goals and starts the timer and at the same time. Timer, yep. correct. Oh, okay, okay. Then I'll, I'll, I'll start seed then. All right. Um, okay, well, if you guys will both get to your main menu, make sure you have your Jinja Minute file moved over, and then we will uh, we will get started momentarily. Hell and yeah. Also, um, I'm going to not have my headphones on so i think the only way i'll hear you if the race ends is if you ping me okay because it will uh, come through my speakers i, I hope <laughs> then, and i will ping you and drag you back into the call and hopefully okay. you'll hear me uh that reminds me i do need to get schlongster's audio to my speakers uh, oh yeah let's hear and it. if you'll um, go ahead and mute I will ping you and drag yeah. Schlong. don't mute now. okay hopefully you'll hear me. uh that reminds me i do need to get schlongster's audio oh yeah let, here and um, if you'll go ahead and mute yeah go on mute okay there we go okay are both you guys ready to go one second yeah we're copying files we're feeling amazing you guys both right. have the seed up it should be seed one five seven six two yep i think i'm good to go i got that one too all right I'm Schlong, you're good as well yeah. All right, here we go, audience. The exhibition match to hype up the tournament. We'll begin in three, two, one, go. Good luck, guys. Luck. Good luck. All right. So while we wait for our bingoers to get underway, let's take a look at the bingo board, Cole, and talk hey. about what's different with bingo this year. What is the format we're looking at? Wait, you mean this isn't normal bingo? This is not normal bingo. This is press F to bingo. Ah, oh, I must pay my respects 
So instead of having your normal 12 choices between your five rows, your five columns, and your two diagonals, instead, runners are going to have to select a F shape on the board as seen here. So it's going to be a little bit longer than normal because, you know, they are going to have three extra goals to have to select. But the good news about the Fs is that some of the goals could overlap with each other. You know, you could be picking two goals that could overlap from different rows that you normally wouldn't be able to select. Like, for instance, if we look at F1 in this column, we've got Defeat 5 Bosses alongside Dragon Brothers and Minji Jango Jiggy. So you've got some extra synergy within these goals that the runners are really going to have to search for uh, in order to, you know, find the winning row. And yes, that's correct, Dango. They are not allowed to look at chat. They are not allowed to get help. Oh my god, Sunder just freaking rolled into the wrong Klungo. <laughs> so now he's going to have to wait. Sunder also did miss Klungo, Skip. So schwangsu has got a little bit of a lead here. Um, But yes, anyways... Dango has already pointed out the obvious that F1 is the OP F in this card. And if they don't select F1, uh, they're going to be drastically behind somebody who does select F1. So and who knows? So what's because happen. this is still like normal bingos and it's generated like a normal bingo, you each row has its like variety of like what like goals that are like. One really short one, one really long one, etc. Right. And so you can find ones that don't actually have the longer goals. Yes, exactly. Or yeah. there are ones that have two of the longer goals. So you, <laughs> that you have to, to auto avoid. Those. Yeah. So great, great uh, little commentary there, Steve. So a kind of strategy that we saw evident in the last bingo tournament that I think is really going to be used in this one is... Even though we're going to go to GGM first and skip the Goliath, I think that a lot of runners are going to opt to lose the three seconds in opening up MT first regardless, just so you get the extra amount of time to really look at the board and really analyze, you know, what row is going to be a definite no and kind of solidify your choices even more before you start routing your bingo. Um... Beforehand, it was kind of, you know, five goals. I'll pick them whenever. I don't care. I don't want to lose three seconds to my opponent. But because the F bingos are going to naturally be a little bit longer, um, I think you you can lose the three seconds and start analyzing the Fs. Uh, and hopefully we'll see that from our runners. We'll, we'll take a look and see that. Uh, interestingly enough, in the beginning here, uh, Sunder did not grab the Red House Treble Clef. So... Curious as to if he's even thinking of doing GGM early at all, or if he's just going to have to grab some extra notes because he's super rusty. But we'll have to see soon enough. I think they were uh, discussing before the race that neither of them want to do... Uh, uh, what should it Jade Snake early. So they're both uh, getting the Golden Goliath. Well, it looks like we might be in for the long haul here, Cole, because both of them have selected their rows. Strongster oh. has selected F2, and Sunder has selected F8, neither of which is F1. So we're really going to be strapped in here for a little bit, and now we can switch <laughs> over to our main layout. Here we go with all the eight goals for each row on the sides. Again, Cole, thank you for uh, setting that up on your skip. It's going to be really great. Yeah, I'm already seeing some really bad things here. We've got both runners doing all Cheeto pages in Witchy World, which means we're going to see some saucer of perils. Oh, baby. Nice. We, we got some nice overlap between them. They're both doing three of the same goals. Oh, yeah. So they're both also doing Champa, and they're both bringing the train to GI. Man, just a ton of really, really long goals here. Uh, and the other thing is that in uh, Sunder's row, he actually has the longest goal on the board. 
five jiggies in three levels each, which is a 25. But he However, does also have one of the shortest ones. Get double. His air. his totals in terms of goal lengths is shorter than uh, than Schwanksters. Schwanksters. Wow, that's crazy. Okay. So that's, oh yeah, that I is, forgot that we have totals. Interesting. It's got the longest goal, but it's also the shortest on average of all the goal lengths. So yeah, Schwanksters' total goal length is 102, and Sunders is 98. So incredibly, uh, incredibly broken there. Versus the F1 Insanity that we did talk about is a 92. But it's a 92 with Insane Synergy. So, both of them did opt to open up MT. I'm glad to see that. Like we said, just a little extra time to plan out the row. Plan out what you're going to do. And now we know Schlongster. Oh, Schlongster's opting for Goliath too. He doesn't want to do GGM early. Incredible. Man, just so much stuff that these guys are going to have to do. Especially Sunder. He's got a, a big long list of things to do. Alright, so we're going to see the classic, the sort of old archaic bingo route here from Schwangster. He's doing the classic 100 notes, grab a game on the way, get Goliath, set it up. You know, just sort of the uh, extra 40 seconds of cutscenes and movement to plan out the row. I mean, it's not bad happen. for what he selected. He's got to get six jiggies at MT. Oh, yeah, that is true. We did talk about how usually if you're doing six jiggies, uh, you could opt for the Goliath route because yep. that would be jiggy number six. Uh, I know I'm going to be a bit rusty in my bingo commentary because you know, I haven't <laughs> I haven't watched any bingo and I haven't played any bingo in a while. People play Tui. All right, now that is uh, Schwangster's first Globo. And thanks to Cole's new changes, I can right-click to show that he has one out of 13. Isn't that nice? Just so many extra little quality of life changes that Cole's bringing to the website. You just got to love it. And it helps our viewers, too. Now, the only problem is once we really start getting into the bingo, it's going to be hard to keep track of everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, you know, we can we can work on that. Cole's pretty much taken everything that Derek had on Bingo Tooley and just pretty much added it including the notepad. All right, so Sunder also opting for the Goliath route. He does have to get one Globo in every level, so, you know, that's possible that he saw that as his his one to get for as he was getting Goliath. Yeah, both uh, runners going to be getting a lot of Globos here. Both have Globo goals. Big Globo goals. Now, one thing that we haven't mentioned yet uh, that I did mean to mention Sunder's before the double air. tournament started. Oh, uh, well, yeah, Sunder is getting double air. But <laughs> I was more specifically talking about the tournament in general. This tournament is the first tournament on Banjo Race to have a $1,000 prize pool. Very, very $1, exciting $1, times. $1,000. That's right. The stimulus checks from COVID, they've ramped up. Inflation has hit the Banjo Race channel. First place in this tournament will take home a whopping $700 of that $1,000 with second place getting $200 and third place getting $100. That being said, the tournament bracket is still open until tonight. So if you find yourself watching this bingo and you're like, wow, this could be really fun. I'd love to join. You can go onto the Banjo Race Discord under tournament signups. And you can still sign up to be in this tournament and possibly win yourself that $1,000 prize pool. So uh, we'll keep reminders of that throughout the race. Uh, but right now we do have 12 people entered. And uh, hopefully, you know, we'll get, we'll, we might get a few more. Itching for those, itching for those money. All right, so uh, Schwanster picks up his Golden Goliath Jiggy. He's got one. He's going to crack open the Code Chamber. Obviously, our bingoers are going to use the Code Jiggy Wiggy Special to make sure that they are not making this bingo too much longer than it needs to be. And it looks like Sunday's right behind him. So I don't know where Schwangster lost uh, some time. It does look like Sunder is right behind him in terms of the Goliath route. Cracking open a code one, yeah. Cracking open a code one with the boys.
Oh, Sunder got the goggles. That's interesting. Oh, yeah, that's actually a really good point to make here, Cole. Do you think we're going to see much DCW this tournament with just the longer goals? There's so much variety of them that you're almost going to every level. Unless you have a goal where that one goal is going to be a big deal that you DCW to it, then you probably won't see it. Like either credits, pot of gold... Maybe even Toxic Waste. I think we are going to see a lack of DCW in this tournament, at least from yeah, the top I, runners. I think, like, Toxic Waste will be, like, the one main place you may see people DCW. Now, what is nice about Sunder's row is he doesn't really need a lot of notes. He just pretty much needs Clockworks, and he can probably do the rest of the goals with just Clockworks. Whereas, Schlongster is going to have to get... Taxi pack and sack pack or snooze pack rather. Uh, or he's going to have to DCW into toxic waste with enough notes to get snooze pack. So that can be one of the things we have to look out for. That's 525 notes. Yeah, that that's one of the tricky ones. I, I'm guessing he's probably going to. Uh, it's hard to say what he wants to do because he does have to bring the train in. Like he may just get taxi pack to go in there. Oh, that's true. Uh, Sunder also has to bring the train to GI, so he will also need springies or a DCW. Here we go. Another jiggy for Schlongster and MT, making sure not to die, so we can go inside code chamber. Looks like uh, Sunder's right behind him. Sunder grabbing grip grab. I think our average note count is going to go up in these bingos because we have so many goals. Sunder opting not to grab the white Jinjo there, even though he's got a white Jinjo goal. Hopefully he uh, has an idea about that. Did uh, Sunder grab the Goliath Jiggy? He did, right? I hope he did. I'll see you right here. Got some tricky egg shots here from Schlongster. <laughs> really taking his time. Yes, he did. All right, so he's up to two MT Jiggies as well. And the cheat code is put in for Schlongster. Sunder now right behind him. Gotta type all this stuff in. Clockworks is sort of your essential bingo move. There's just so much you can get with Clockworks. Most of the time you just grab Clockworks because it just makes everything more convenient. But there are some exceptions. There are some times where you don't get Clockworks. Oh, and he misses the Temple Jiggy. He's got to fly back. Hopefully he stays in flight here. Oh, he lands. You hate to see it. <laughs> All right, Sunder should be right behind in terms of the route because he's got to grab a couple more jiggies here. Sunder, or Shonks are walking over here for the flies. Sunder also trying to get this thing. <laughs> good, good. I thought it was going to fall on him at first. <laughs> oh, the skill stop? Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Nice. Sunder remembering to grab Regal Blaster for Chomposaurus. Uh, we have seen people forget that move. And that ends up being really embarrassing when you jump up top and slam down on the thing only to die. What about forgetting it walking into Target Zen like uh, Schlongster just did? <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, I didn't even realize Schlongster had to defeat five bosses. Yeah. Okay, so... Oh, interesting. Sunder is leaving. 
So he didn't even do... Wait. Did he get the top of Temple one? Yeah, he did. So, but he didn't get flies. So he starts to grab one Jiggy in MT. And coming back. Imagine screwing up Jiggy Wiggy special with the last letter. We've seen it before. But this, this was actually pretty good routing by Schlongster. Because he has to get that move to go do this to get a boss and two Jiggies to finish it out. Yeah, I think Schlongster actually is going to just come out ahead here because of the boss synergy. Uh, and I guess you could call it the Briegel Blaster synergy. Yeah, we we did say that we like Schlongster's row better. Even though it was longer in terms of the total length, it just seems like it's got way more synergy. The other thing, too, that surprised me about Sunder's row is, you know, he's got that five jiggies in three levels each. And maybe he's just considering coming back and doing all of Prison Compound for five jiggies, although he just needs two more in MT. So we'll see. We'll see. It definitely is a new experience to get used to a much longer row than before. There's so much more things to think about. Yes. It's kind of, what reminds me, or at least what I think about is, you know, in the meme board tournament, we saw a couple of bingo categories like short double and, you know, triple bingos. And that's really the format that kind of encouraged me to like come up with this format is, you know, we're so used to just seeing five and analyzing a board that way, but having to look at multiple goals across multiple rows, that's where you really get. Who's the fast reader? Who really knows what they're doing? Who finds the like hidden synergy? And then of course, who can route it the best on the fly? Sunder picking up Bill Drill. He is a little bit ahead of Schlongster in that regards. But a lot of stuff that needs to be done. Both of these runners will have to lift Chuffy and bring the train to GI. So let's see, it looks like Sunder is coming over here to hit the train station warp. That way he can grab Mumbo immediately. He's still thinking about it though. Yeah, he's gonna go ahead and do it right now. And did he grab the Globo down by the rock? I think he did, right? But he grabbed the one, the entrance. Oh, okay, yeah, there you go. So he does have one MT and one GGM now. Shongster with a little bit of a uh, rusty target zam fight here. Almost running out of golden eggs. In fact, he is going to run out of golden eggs. Luckily for him, he did put in the code chamber. Code chamber does give you full red feathers and full blue eggs. Lawless fight. All right, and we've got our first goal done from Schlongster, as well as one boss in the bag. So now he will be heading into Glitter Gulch Mine. Sunder heading into the train station to lift the train. Hasn't grabbed any of the jiggies yet in GGM, but might decide to do it later with Clockworks. It's kind of hard to imagine what the levels uh, Sunder is going to pick here for his I five diggies and three levels. He might eight. pick GGM, like if he's saving like prison compounds for Dilberta. I almost think he should select MT GGM Witchy World because, you know, he has to do Saucer of Peril. He has to get the van. You know, he's got to go into Inferno. I almost think it might be worth it to grab the five there. But I'm not sure. I guess that is only one Jiggy, right? Saucer of Peril. The other two don't really have anything to do with Jiggies. Maybe Witchy World isn't isn't good. Maybe it's a bait. Witchy World, once you start getting to, like, past four, they get so long. Yeah. Well, even with four, right, you have to opt to do Patch Inferno or both Crazy Castles. Yep. 
And I was just thinking, well, he has Saucer of Peril that he has to do. So that's like the freebie extra jiggy, but I just don't think the other four is good. All right, an extra gin or an extra globo there. He's thinking about where he wants to go. Probably he's going to warp to the entrance. We'll see if he sticks around. Oh, he's going to go ahead and fight Cole now with blue eggs. Interesting. See, this is one of those where if you know that you need to fight Cole and you just have one thing you're using the train with, usually you just want to go fight it on your way to where you need to bring it. Yeah. Especially a place like G GI where you can't just instantly go call it once you open it. Right. So it's much better to just leave it ready for you to go and then you just like end your seed on it or whatever. Schlongster grabbing his notes for his moves later on. Hopefully Sunder doesn't do this entire fight with blue eggs. Hopefully he knows that you can peck. Okay, he does. He gets the peck. Cole with blue eggs. This is just such a nightmare though. doing <laughs> there you go he gets the peck you got a game for a reason <laughs> there you go he's getting the rolls in there we go there we go we have seen bingo runners do this before the peck slash blue egg combo yeah i don't know why he's not using egg game Like, I don't understand it. All right, now Schlongster making his way over to do the same thing. Lift the train. There he goes. Now he, now he knows. <laughs> he remembers. All right, that actually wasn't that bad. I have seen worse Old King Coles. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the runner last year who finished Old King Cole with his final blue egg. That was pretty funny. Okay, so at least he does grab this jiggy. Yeah. Which is good. So he could opt to get GGM Jiggies if he wanted. Schwangster doing the walk of shame over to train station. Didn't grab it earlier with the shoes. Was it Icup who did it? Yeah, classic. I don't think anybody has ever used fire eggs, luckily. That wouldn't make any sense. Using fire eggs. Okay, the other thing that uh, Sunder does have to work on is green Jinjos. There is one of them here in GGM. So we'll take a look at that one. Uh, and then where are the other green Jinjos? He's got one in Area 51, which he's going to have to get most likely. And then the rest are like in JRL. And then the two in JRL. Or three in JRL, right? Yeah. Sunken Ship. Seaweed Sanctum. And blubbers. Blubbers, yeah. All right, he is opting to turn into detonator here. We might see the setup of the DCW. Not sure where he would want to DCW. Although he could DCW to credits to get that early GI train switch. We could see that, and then he wouldn't have to get springies. Schlongster trying to death warp on the diggit. This enemy has, like, the weirdest hitbox ever. All right, both trains lifted. Sunder taking two damage to the Billy Bob. Wait, oh, God, what is this route for notes? Okay, yes, we do see the opening of the saucer box. I imagine Sunder has to go to the credits. I don't really see another way that he would go. Unless he's thinking of DCWing straight into Champa, but I would hope he doesn't do that. Uh, there's two more Globos for Shalomster. Oh, I'm so dumb. It doesn't even matter if he's DCWing. He has to free the saucer for all Cheeto pages. You're right. 
<laughs> I'm so stupid. I just, I don't even think about that because that's just a goal that we never see people pick is all Cheeto pages in which you yeah. will. And so setting up DCW, you should definitely use the DCW for something. Right. Before coming back and doing saucer. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully he'll do credits and maybe, maybe Schlongster could actually do the toxic waste DCW. But he would have to collect, like, the rest of the notes from here on out. But he could do it. And that would be able to skip him taxi pack. Oh, my gosh. He just shot a fire rage, Cole! Fuck, <laughs> said just shot fire rage at Cole. Write it down. Oh, my God. Well, if it didn't happen before, it just happened now. Good old Schlongster bringing us the content. A historical moment of bingo. And he's doing the whole thing with blue eggs. He didn't even peck any of it. All right. Uh, let's see. Sunder making his way into Pine Grove. He did not get the Toxic Waste Green Jinjo. He's going to have to come back for that later. But he is grabbing extra notes here in the pool. Sunder's been doing a good job of collecting notes. He's got 210. After just two levels. Alright. Old King Cole is dead for Schlongster. We'll probably see a save and quit here. He grabs the Jiggy that he doesn't need. Just in case. He's looking around for the exit. And Sunder's going to be making his way into Witchy World. Exit the train. Walk of shame. Yeah. The big train station walk of shame. All right, so Sunder's got quite a lot to do in here. I imagine he's going to grab the two Cheeto pages while he can. He also is going to grab Area 51 Jinjo. Uh, he does need... Actually... Does Schlonks, or does Sunder need Split Up? Yes, he does. He's got to get well, the JRL. Well, he needs to go to JRL. <laughs> Unless he does... Well, no, I guess he can't even do JRL early from HFP. Okay, I have to imagine that Schwangster got that Globa by Wumba. I didn't see him grab it, but I think he did. He did. So he has two Globos and he's used two. Three, right? Because he got both an MT, so. Yeah, but he's used two already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then hopefully this will be using the third one. Yeah. I imagine. There we go. There's uh, Sunder's Witchy World Globo. Grabbing the van. Both transforming into different things here. Sunder turning into the detonator. Sunder as the van. Or did I say Sunder twice? Schlongster is detonator. Sunder is. Alright, so setting up the saucer of peril as well, plus a DCW. Here we go. Sunder will warp to the front. Oh, he won't warp to the front. Uh-oh. I hope he doesn't forget the green ginger in area 51. Because he kind of needs it. He's going to grab the warp pad. I think he's doing a different route around or something. Maybe he... Actually, Sunder could... And this would be very interesting. Sunder could warp to the entrance from Inferno. Grab the Jinjo and reset. If yeah. he's really 9000 IQ thinking about that. Yeah, but then doesn't set up DCW. It does not set up the DCW. That is true. Schlongster, right, Schlongster done with GGM. Done with GGM. He saved and quit. Oh, yeah. He did get both GGM G uh, Globos. He got the one by Mumbo. He had to. So he's used... 
Yeah, he's used three of his four Globos now. And... Let's see. Yeah, he Sun didn't remember to... Thunder did get entrance. one of the Cheeto pages. No! No! Why is he going back? Why is he going back? Oh, did he not get the Cheeto page? No, he didn't. <gasps> he came in here and didn't even get the Cheeto. Yeah, but he needed to come in here because he also needs to set up UFO. Thirty minutes in, and Schwanster isn't in Witch World yet. He's been setting up a lot of stuff. We might be here for a while. Yeah, it, we're gonna have a nice long uh, Witchy World here from both of them. A lot of cutscenes. Open up the Foster and everything. Here we go. Now he's going to Area Fifty One. You love to see it. Now we're going to come back here soon and watch a cutscene. <laughs> True. All right. That's one of the green gingos. All right, now we're going to see hopefully the same route. Well, maybe a little bit better improved efficiency from Schwanzer. Because he also has to get all cheetah pages in Witchy World. Opens area 51. Gets some notes. And now what is Sunder going to do? He's going to warp back to Wumba. Detransform. And then go to Mumbo. And do all that probably. Oh god. I forgot you even have to power up the saucer, Cole. Yeah. That's what I was saying. That, oh, that was I thought you were meaning like, yeah, he's going to take the saucer over here pretty soon. Like, no, he has, actually has so much to do. So he still has to get split up, and he still has to go into the Haunted Cavern to get the other Cheeto page, too. There's yeah, so much saying. shit this to do This be a nice, here. long... Uh... <laughs> a nice, long playthrough through Witchy World 1. Yeah. All right, we get to see Patch. He is going to... He is going to Witchy World. Are we going to see Patch? He did get Airborne Egg Gaming. But he has not collected any of the tickets yet. Well, that's for the van. That is for the van. <gasps> Schwarkster! Or Sunder didn't kill the guy! Uh... <laughs> got pushed. This wasn't enough. Oh my god. Actually got control of Mumbo there. We will see if he can get control back. Or, I guess it works anyways, right? Oh, the guy can push you during that cutscene, and then you soft lock because you're not, Banjo's not in the right place for the next scene to trigger. Yeah, but I'm saying, now he's safe, right? Because even when he touches Mumbo, he's good. When Mum, when he returns Mumbo. It's been so long since I've seen it. I think it it's the... He got very lucky. Yeah, as Cole said, that baddie underneath Mumbo can push him away to where Banjo can't throw the Globo in the bag. He's not yeah, in position. And so then it soft locks the game and you have to reset your console. But he got very lucky. He got only pushed a little bit by the guy, which is crazy. Schlongster doesn't have Grip Grab! Oh my god! He doesn't have Grip Grab! Does Schlongster know how to do... Oh, you can't even do Torch you Jump! Still need... <laughs> yeah, you still need Grip Grab! Oh my god! This is the throw, ladies and gentlemen. Why is he walking out? I guess he still wants to do all the Mumbo and Van stuff while he's here? Yeah, but just Death Warp. Yeah, I would have just, just warped. I would have just jumped off and then warped. <laughs> okay, so we still have to pay attention to Sunder though. Sunder has not picked up split up or any of the other moves he needs. Nor has he set up his DCW. But he is returning Mumbo, so. Oh my god. Big, big fail from Schlongster. How did he go into JSG and not grab grip grab? 
Because he just want, want right to Code Chamber. Yeah, I guess and, he did. He just Globo. He's thinking about the Globo and Code Chamber. Wow, what a mess. It's like, I don't need the Jinjo. Wait, what is... Sunder is walking out to get Dive of Death? Oh no, he's going to go get his Cave of Horrors. Yeah. He's going to go get his Haunted Cavern. I would have taken the shoes, though. Schlongster's got to do this without Grip Grab. Nice. Second try. <laughs> so, wait. What is Schlongster going to do here? Is Schlongster Gondola DCWing? I guess he could. Because he doesn't have the goggles. Whereas Sunder yeah. does. Oh my god, the memes have already begun. All right. Yeah, he got all the detonator stuff. He's ready to set this up. Yeah, he doesn't... Yeah, he wants to... Yeah, hopefully he just... Huh? Yeah, I was like, the camera isn't behind him. How are you going to know when to... Nice! Uses the peck method, gets it first try. You love to see it. <clears throat> now he's going to do Van. Sunder setting up his saucer. DCW. Oh, and Sunder's just going to opt not to do Gondola. Yep, we get a nice conditioner special. Is he going to fall off? He's very, very close to falling off, Cole. Okay, he's readjusting. God. <laughs> like, he kept jumping at, like, the 89th angle. All right. Uh, What are we seeing here? Uh, he wants to press the button. He's going to come back through Fuel Depot. Well, he's just going to do it now, I think. So he's not DCWing. Yeah, I think he's not DCWing. So he's just going to go ahead and get Saucer out of the way. He's going to mark off this goal right here and now. Which means he will have to get Springies. Yeah, he also was very lucky he grabbed the edge there because if you... Missed the edge there and didn't hit the spring pad button. You have to do the whole thing again. No, you can climb up the ladder back up to the gondola. Oh, oh, can you from that metal pipe? You can? Yeah. Okay, and that's I... the intended way to get over there. Gotcha. All right. Well, we've got uh, nothing on Sunder's side for the next, like, five minutes. Schlongs are grabbing his first cheetah page of Witchy World. Yeah, and it's just, I mean, I don't even know how to say who's in the lead. <laughs> There's just so much, so much more both of these runners have to do. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're going to be in Witchy World for another, like, seven minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, yeah, I guess, uh, what's his name? Sunder still does have to get split up. He still has not gotten split up. But once he gets split up, he will be done with Witchy World. Oh. Wait, what did Sun? What did Schlongster do? Gondo DCW got the treble clef and left. Yeah. All right. Interesting. Oh, he's DCWing. We should see credits here, right? No. Well. He's going to Terry Cole. Terry. He's going to Terry. This is a Schlongster classic. DCW to Terry. I, I, it's okay, but. Like this, I mean, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. This is definitely not what I would have chosen for his row, but, you know. I mean, it kind of just ma it makes sense because he's going to be doing a lot of stuff in TDL. 
He's just gonna go drop down, get Champa and all that stuff. All his five bosses should just be Klungo and Minji, though. He shouldn't be doing Terry. Because he's already done Klungo 1, Target Zan, and Cole. So, I mean, he shouldn't be doing Terry. I hope he doesn't fight Terry. Also, I think... Did Schwankster get both Witchy World Globos? I have no clue. I think he did. Well, you can't you can't DCW at the end of your route because you do have to do Saucer Apparel. But yeah, I think the DCW to Minji would have been way better, at least way better than Terry. I think Credits ultimately was the better well, you, choice. You but. still can uh, just DCW at the end. He's he's fighting Terry because you could you could go. So uh, he's he's fighting Terry just so he doesn't have to fight Klunga too, I guess. Yeah. Or maybe Schwangster doesn't know that you can fight Klungo 2 from the other side. That could be it. I mean, there is zero reason to do this, boss. <laughs> he even opens up the whole Jiggy. What is he doing? <laughs> okay. Okay. A 10? We got the guaranteed two cycle from Schwangster. If he doesn't know Klungo counts as a boss, we've, we're going to have to talk to him. I mean, oh, Klungo is... Pick F1. Well, that's also true. Klungo has counted as a boss for, like, forever. For, like, a long time now. Like, across several years of patches. In fact, I'm pretty sure Klungo was a boss in the last bingo tournament, which yes. Schwangster was in. Uh, it used to be where we excluded Klungo 1, but everything else still counted. All right, we got our first goal completed on Sunder's side. He's got all the Witchy World Cheetos. Nice. It's a tie now he race. Can move on anybody could win. Anybody could race. It is one goal to one goal. Hopefully here, before he goes into JRL, he goes and grabs double air. That would be the best time to do it right here, right now. Yeah, yeah, Sunder, yeah. So all in all, I mean, Sunder picked a slow row, but I think he's been routing it pretty well. He hasn't made too many, like, route mistakes. Whereas Schlongster, <clears throat> we've seen quite a bit. The DCW to Terry, the fighting Terry. No grip grab. Right. Nice. Sunder drops. Royson in the pool. Now Schwangster must be careful here. If he dies, he will go back to Fuel Depot. Oh, he could just do Champa right now. Yeah, that's why I was thinking he he has a lot of TDL stuff he's kind of thinking of doing. Like, he has Champa here. He has notes that he wants for Springy's taxi pack. Probably in his mind. Oh my god, what a blind jump! He's nowhere close! Oh, oh. Ow! Okay, he can go over to the fly pad at least. Don't hit that. Yeah, hit the button, hit Don't the button. Don't hit do the it. button. Do it, do it, do it! He's looking for the fly pad. <laughs> There's a lot of cutscenes after defeating Terry. Wondering what it did. I don't know if I've ever seen anybody hit that button in a bingo. I don't know if anybody knows what it does. So I, I have a question. Do the ulcers deal damage if you run into them? No. Okay, they don't. Oh my god, Cole. So while we've been watching Schwangster, Sunder left Witchy World. He saved and quit without getting split up. So he had to come back to split up because he realized he needed it to open up Cliff Top. Also, don't forget the more double air. Oh yeah, he did get double air, didn't he? Terry is not really a fast boss at all, exactly. Uh, the... 
The only thing that you can do with Terry is if he's your final boss and you're ending on him, you can stop your bingo as soon as you hit him. That way the rest of the cutscenes don't matter. Uh, you can also defeat uh, Terry and then as soon as he drops onto the nest and it transfers out, you can reset so that you don't have to watch the rest of those cutscenes. It's just that, you know, if you DCW there, then you don't get to... Hit the wasteland silo, do any of that stuff, but it's fast in that regard that you can reset and have it saved that he's defeated. In what situation would that ever apply? I I can't think of one. I can't if think you, of one because you need to. If you the like DCW'd to set. like CCL and you came into TDL and just end your TDL route on Terry. Yeah, that would be like the one example, I guess. All right, Chomposaurus done for Schlongster. Two goals each now for our runners. It's tied. And we do see the bridge switch opening to HFP. We know that Sunder does have to go in for one Globo, which he might do right now. Yep. Yeah. And he'll grab some extra notes along the way as well. Since he does need 390 for springies. Or is it 395? I can't remember. I think it's 390. 390, 405, 420. Yeah, that's right. All right, now what are we going to see from Schlongster? He does still need to be careful here. If he dies, he will go back to Fuel Depot. He's got to make sure to get the... Safety leave out of here first. Yeah, he doesn't want to get Bargesaurus. Here we go. Sunder setting up the just easy death route to grab his Globo. Nice. He just rolls onto the lava. And he's done with HFP. Sunder leaving without getting springies. Or either of the TDL Globos. Very interesting. I think he might come back with notes. Clockworks. Yeah, I just he was already at 360. I would have just finished up TDL, I think. And not come back. Although if we think about if we think about how much Schlongster still has to do. Schlongster has to get taxi pack and and snooze pack. And pack whack! Schlongster didn't get pack whack for the battery. Oh my god. How That's many moves beat. has he missed? Okay, Sunder picks up his JRL his JRL Globo. So now he just needs a TDL, a GI, and a Cloud Cuckoo Land. He's thinking about what he needs to do though. He's gotta grab green Jinjos. Heading over to Blubbers. He's missing five notes, Cole. Why is he trying to get up here? He's down five notes. Longs <laughs> <laughs> just having a rough time with oh his my uh, gosh. moves routing. Okay, there was the second green Jinjo. He's grabbing notes. Okay, Sunder diving down. Doesn't have to worry about much because he's got double air. You love to see it. Your feelings of being underprepared is becoming less severe. We definitely know these two are very rusty when it comes to bingo. Especially Sunder. Okay. Schwangster not going anywhere near the Globo. Just grabbing more notes. Still not going near Mumbo's Globo. Now he's going. Okay, looks like Sunder's taking a brief detour into Seaweed to grab a green Jinjo. Oh, 
Okay, he remembered. He almost didn't remember. He almost there. didn't. Nice. So, uh, instead of warping uh, back to the entrance, he decided. Is it because he thinks he can go up to Wumba's here? Or is he gonna. He doesn't even get the running oh, shoes. What is he doing? <laughs> he could just go up the waterfall here and get taxi pack. And if he didn't grab the warp pad, he could have just death warped. Yeah, I was going to say, he's safe now that he re-entered TDL. I don't know what he's doing. All right. Sunder going into the eels lair for Talon Torpedo. which he does need for sunken ship. Oh yeah, did Schwankster even get Spring Ace yet? Is he going down now to get it? I have no idea what Schwankster is doing. I've been watching this TDL for a long time. It reminds <laughs> me a lot of Steve's TDL. Steve's TDL when he lost to Nade in the semifinals. Yeah, walking is banjo. I know, I love it. All I right. Good box. Bad oh. box. Not the worst box, but pretty bad box. Good one. Good one. Barely got it. Okay, the saving quit out now. What about the seaweed sanctum? He did already get sanctum. Uh -oh. He's got four out of five. He's got to go back to GGM. I, I, and was, get, I was too uh, busy watching TDL. Yeah. Yeah, too busy watching TDL. Okay, now Schwanks is going to CCL for Minji. That will be his fifth boss. He'll be able to mark off two goals here. And he can grab a couple other Globos as well. Looks like Schwankster could be in the lead. He does. He is going to mark off a lot of synergies here. Yeah. And then he still needs to go back for two moves. That is true. I forgot about the absolute terribleness that is going to be trying to bring the train to GI. Or learning snooze pack, rather. Yeah, he, he's going to go try to get a battery. And then realize he can't hit the battery. <laughs> what if he actually... Hits the battery. Actually, I don't even want to think about this. What if Schlongster tries to go up there to hit the battery, realize he can't hit the battery, goes back for pack whack, but doesn't get taxi pack? <laughs> okay, another Globo collected for Schlongster. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, he, he forgot taxi pack, too. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He still doesn't have grip grab, Cole! He I still know. hasn't gone back to get grip grab! Like, Schwankster should be way in the lead right now. <laughs> oh, my God. If Schwankster, like, actually loses this bingo from just having to backtrack so many times. We've only seen one backtrack from Schwankster, and it was for, uh, or Sunder, and it was for our split up. You can do a lot in Tui without grip grab, but there's just, I don't, I don't see a bingo where you just don't grab it. Because you're you're already going in there for code chamber, and it's like an extra eight seconds to grab it. It's like just grab it. Yep. And at this point, he's not going back for it because he's just gonna use clockworks. Yeah. Well, he well he's got to get. Yeah, I guess he can get the cheetah page with clockworks, right? Yep. Okay, now he's going up top to talk to Mumbo. What is he doing, Cole? He, he thought it was a uh, Minji. Oh my god. Okay, Klungo dead for Sunder. He's moving on. He's got his clockworks. You already have full golds. Why did he grab all the feathers? Oh! Okay, so... Sunder actually doesn't need anything in Cloud Cuckoo Land besides the Globo. So that'll be good. He'll be done with 
He'll be done with uh, Cloud Cuckoo Land here in a second. I guess the real question is, what are these levels that he's choosing for his jiggies, Cole? Yeah. I just don't know. He has not been collecting jiggies. Five jiggies. Like, he's got three in MT. He has one in Witchy World. He has one in GGM. Like, so my I assumption is he's going to pick those. Yeah. But if he was going to pick those, he would have gotten more Witchy World jiggies while he was there. Like, Inferno. There we go. Shlongs are going for Dive the quick kill. Next to it. Yeah, that's also true. All right. That is his fifth boss. And once he picks up the Jiggy, we'll be able to mark another. We got the Death Warp there, or the attempt to Death Warp from Sunder. He's trying to fall off the mountain as fast as possible. He's got his Globo. He just needs one in TDL and GI. Yeah, maybe he is thinking TDL because he's got to do Champa. I don't know, though. That seems really They're bad. They're just so slow in TDL. Like, yeah. He should have just done GGM while he was there. He already had to do Cole, which was a free Jiggy. Yep. Shlongster's looking around for something. What else does Shlongster have to do in here? Shlongster did pick up the Jiggy, right? Did anybody see Schwangster pick up Minji Jiggy? I think he did. I mean, I can't imagine he walked out without it, but okay. Thank you, Zanern. Grabbing more notes. He does need springies. He's going to have enough for him. Schwangster flirting with disaster here. Decent note collection for Snooze Pack. Can't complain about this. Drops down, gets 15 more at least. Sunder grabbing his. Yeah. Well, he's going to go to Prison Compound, so I imagine he's going to do Dilberta. So I think MT and GGM are like guaranteed five and five, especially since he already got cold jiggy. I just don't know if he's going to pick witchy world or do something else. He, Cause he hasn't gone, done anything else progressive wise. Okay. Now he's going to fly for Chopasaurus. He hasn't gotten to Globo yet. So hopefully he doesn't, uh, he doesn't leave. Any chance it could be GI? No. <laughs> Probably not. If he got Pack Whack, I would say maybe, but I would say no. Not five for Why is Shlongster DC Death Warping on the flat so when he has grenade eggs? I, I just have so many questions for Shlongster. If he had Pack Whack, I would say maybe GI would be possible, but when you already have... A witchy world jiggy? I think witchy world is just faster. If you had a way the toxic waste, I could see, like, maybe he Oh, yeah, does. that's the other thing. He doesn't even but have a way in the toxic waste, yeah. Yeah, GI is a definite no. I didn't even think about toxic waste. What's up, Trinan? It's so funny how we've seen... We've seen so many distinguishing different routes between these two guys and yet we see them line up at doing Chapa at you know they're gonna have to bring the train I don't know when Schwangster is gonna figure it out oh Schwangster's getting taxi pack right now that's the only reason he came back in here okay he remembered now did Schwangster only get no Schwangster did get both he did get both Globos and Cloud Cuckoo Land. Yeah, that's the real question, Steve. <laughs> well, oh yeah, I guess he's gonna notice here because he doesn't have Pack Whack or Grip Grab. 
I didn't even think about the fact that he still doesn't have grip grab coming in here, Cole. <laughs> or he's just in here for notes. <laughs> he's in here for notes. No double air, no talent torpedo. Okay, Chompasaurus Jiggy done for Sunder, and he left. So now he can go get his Globo wherever he's going to go. He doesn't know what he's doing, Cole! But it's concerning because he just doesn't think he can get there because he doesn't have grip grab. What is he doing? What the hell is this? What was that? What was the thought process behind that? He's leaving. Okay, so he's got a backtrack for Grip Grab. He's got a backtrack for Pack Whack. He's got a backtrack for Taxi Pack. All of that must be done before he goes to GI. Oh, you don't need Grip Grab. He could have taken a different split up pad, but. Wait, he what is, is, think that he's what is Sunder missing. doing? <gasps> Sunder is thinking of doing TDL, Cole. This yeah. is the only reason he would be doing Chompa Warp. Yep. I don't think he's close enough to the door. Uh, oh, that worked. Going, oh, no, that was gotta go. He's getting his grip grab. And all you need is grip grab in order to go get taxi pack. So he may still not remember to get pack whack. God damn it. If, if he wanted to do this, he should have done Dippy. Come on, Sunder, you can do it. There it goes. Nice. Okay, Chompa Warp done. So he is going to do Terry. So he'll get Terry, the whole Jiggy, Roar Cage, and I guess he's going to do Rock Nuts. I really don't like that, though. Seems very slow to me. The launcher says F in the chat. F in his own chat? No, in the bingo channel. Oh. <laughs> oh, in Discord. Yeah. Okay, both runners who didn't have to fight Terry are fighting Terry. Okay, he, he's remembering Pack Whack. Dang. Yep. He remembered all of it. Saucer is freed. He does have to do Saucer Peril still at one point. He doesn't have split up, does he? Yeah, they both have split up. Okay. Oh, why, where's... Oh, he's getting this. Okay. Like, where is he running to? Yeah, they both have split up. I only know that because when he dropped down in Cloud Cuckoo Land from up top, they were lit up. Uh oh, yeah. Because that would have been even worse if he uh, went to go do that. If he went to go do Pack Wagon, he didn't have split up? Yeah. Okay, so this will be Jiggy 2 and 3. 
So he's got to get a Globo, Roar Cage, and I guess Rock Nuts. He should do one Rock Nut right here while he's up here. Or he, oh, he can do Stomping Planes. I yeah. completely forgot about Stomping Planes. Oh, that's way better than Rock Nuts. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Packwhack achieved. Why is he not saving and quitting? He's actually thinking of going to do Saucer right now. That's the only reason yeah. he's still in here. I mean, it, it, he should have just entered through GGM, did Saucer. And then he and got finished out Witchy World. Yep. Completely agree. He's but I don't think saucer. he re remembered he needed to do saucer until, until that cutscene. Cut cut yeah, probably. Okay, so yeah, maybe I. Well, I still think TDO was not the choice because fighting Terry is way too long. But it didn't end up as bad as it could have been. I'll say that. Stomping planes is not terrible. He did just shoot a clockwork for haunted cavern. Yes. Good thing he got grip grab. He hasn't powered it up, Cole. I, yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we're in a fucking nightmare, boys. As soon as I saw the electricity wasn't coming out of the wire, I was like, oh, we're not done yet. Okay. Right, well, lock here. He's got to get Roar Cage. He's oh, got to get Roar Cage. Here we go. This this will do it. Oh, he's soft locking? Yeah. Yeah, he is so far away. Wait. Maybe? Wow. Wow. How did How? Look at how far away he is. He was like under the stairs and it didn't soft lock. Wow. I cannot believe he didn't soft lock there. Neither runner soft locked. All right. One level done. One level with five jiggies. Sunder is completely done here. What is he doing? He's just reading this thing. Okay, he's got to get a Globo, though. He's got to get a Globo, Cole! He's leaving. Did he not? I don't recall him ever getting one. I don't know when he went over to Wumbo or Mumbo in that route. That's okay, though. He can keep going. A Globo isn't terrible to come back for. So he can call the train... And I guess he could choose to either ride the train inside or he could break in and call it and then go grab a Globo. However he wants to do it. Although, neither of them got ice eggs. So he might just ride the train in and not do break in at all. In which case, he could reset right here i, I would just do backdoor break in because he oh because you can grab the lobo. lobo yeah maybe that is what he'll do saucer is activated schwangster's heading over for a spinal cheeto page <laughs> yep sunder is opting for the backdoor break in Yeah, because he can just grab that Globo and then drop down and call the train and he's done. Can 
Nice. Which uh, green Jinjo is uh, Sumner missing? He still got to get the one in Detonator Cavern. Or in Toxic Gas Cave, rather. Oh, yeah, he never won over he there. He hasn't yeah. gone back to GGN. Yeah. Yeah. They... That, that's that's, that's pretty good. much what we've been saying, Dango, is that is that Sunder's routing is fine for a terrible row. Schlongster's routing is garbage for a better row. Like, Schlongster should be a, have, like, finished this row already. Yeah. Without all these backtracks. Oh, for sure. All right, we get another saucer of peril. It's bathroom break time for everyone. There you go. Everybody grab your popcorn. Take a bathroom break. This is the perfect time. Okay, now I, I'm curious if Sunder believes that that was his globo, his last globo he needed. I don't know, though. He hasn't marked it, so I think he knows he has to go back to TDL for his globo. He's jumping down. Okay, yeah, he's going to go call the train. Okay, we're going to be at four goals, four goals, Cole. <laughs> All tied up again. Keck W. And now, if you think about it, Sunder is almost done. He's got to grab some really quick jiggies in GGM and MT, a Globo and TDL, and the final Jinjo, and he'll be done. He's death warping. I guess he thinks maybe this is faster. He does have to go back to TDL, so maybe he's thinking just do this. He knows he's got to go back to TDL for a Globo, and I think he's going to do that before he does the rest of the early game stuff. Why he death warped, I don't know. Yeah, why would it not take you to the level entrance? Dying in any level takes you to the level entrance. He didn't ride the train. Yeah, he didn't ride the train in. He called the train. Yeah. He he did backdoor break in for a Globo and then called the train. Because they all beat King Cole with blue eggs at the very start. Dude. Schlongster's backtracks have completely killed him in this bingo. He is 100% oh, yeah. going to lose. He's thinking of where to warp to to get a Globo. He went to top of mountain, which is the correct choice. Now you just roll off here to the right. Or this way. You can go either way, really. Oh. Schlongster still doing Saucer of Peril. Good lord. So, Sunder will be able to save and quit on this Globo and then just do MTGGM and he's done. And he'll hopefully do MT first, go through Dilberta. He's actually going to win. Uh. He's actually going to win, Cole. Yep. <laughs> just the number of backtracks that Schlongster had to do has absolutely torched him. Even when Schlongster gets the GI, it's not enough to just get Snooze Pack. He's got to get so much stuff. He still needs three Globos. It is five to five in terms of goals, though. All right, Sunder heading to MT. Schlongster heading out. Hopefully going to GI.
I, I don't know if they uh, yes. know yes, the, Ragnarok, the scoring you are requirements. Correct. You'll see that from our top runners in the future. Actually, you won't because our top runners will never Nobody select will Saucer Pearl. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, Sunder, Sunder this, this will be his fourth Jiggy, but he'll need one more. Nice. Okay. What's his final one going to be? Probably just Swamp? Swamp yeah. or Pillars? Pillar, Probably Pillars because you just swim and shoot. He has fast swimming. Oh, yeah. He does have double air. Oh, my God. Schlongster is finally getting Taxi Pack. Jesus Christ. I just... Every time I look over at Schlongster, I'm like, what is he doing now? What is he working on now, Cole? Oh, he's looking like, looking like he's opting for Swamp. Oh, he didn't even go for the mid-air jump. He didn't even split up yet. Where is he going? Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay. One, two levels done. For five, yeah, he's, so what does he have to do? He's gotten Cole, he's going to get Dilberta, he's going to do small, he's going to do small, get the green Jinjo, Waterfall Cavern times two, and he's done? Yeah. Sunder's going to wrap this thing up? Yeah. Something that I would have done differently was that the, when he was detonator at the start, I would have gotten the green Jinjo to detonator levitation. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, he should have done that. Which is like what I thought he was going to go do with Detonator. I I'm just kind of, my mind is blown. Why did he not? <laughs> Am I actually watching this right now? Schlongster. He recombined after getting the move to death warp to leave the level when he could have saved and quit immediately. Okay, that's Jiggy number two. He's dedicated to the single segment bingo. Yeah, true. Yeah, but he had grenades. He could have just grenaded himself right off the pad. Yeah. What right as he recombined? He could have just done yeah. that. <laughs> That's G number three. He's got to go into Toxic Cave real quick. He's forgetting the Jinjo Cole. Uh-oh. Where the hell is he going? Does he think the Jinjo is in here? Yeah. He does. That's a blue Jinjo, my son. And he's still shooting for it. He doesn't even care. <laughs> he doesn't even care that it's blue. Colorblind confirmed. It's blue! <laughs> what am I watching right now? Still going for it. He's going to run out of clockworks. Nice. One out of seven. And there, there He's got to check the bingo cheat sheet, Cole. He doesn't know. <laughs> Where is, where is Schlongster? What am I looking at? Did he? Schlongster went all the way around the building. Did he not find the, the button? Oh, is that what he's looking for? The button? 
Wait, Schlongster might not know where this button is. I was too busy watching Thunder. <laughs> Just look straight down. There's been too much content. Here we go. Here we go. A deep is right behind you. Thank you. Okay, all green gingos. We just gotta get two more jiggies. <laughs> what a bingo. Many thanks. Just go get the shoes, hit the button, and you're done. But you came in from Prospects or something. Yeah, wait, did he death warp in Toxic Cave? Yeah. Oh, okay. Forgetting that he was He forgot that he entered, there. yeah. Press F to pay respects to this bingo run, exactly. Alright, here he goes. As long as he doesn't fall off the waterfall, I mean, he's pretty much done. Longster has not been to Clifftop in 80 minutes. Write that down. <laughs> He's going now. He's getting ice eggs. Why? For what? The break in. To call he the train. He doesn't need to break in. He just just call the train. He just ride the yeah, train. Yeah, he, he's got to go. He's got to go talk to the sign. Do it the intended way. <laughs> but it says bring the train, not ride the train. That's true. All right. This bingo is all but over. We just got to see some fast swimming will, here from Thunder through flooded caves. Will Thunder get lost in the underwater maze what and drown? What is Slogster doing, Cole? He's calling the train here so he can then ride the train into GI. <laughs> 2,000 IQ play. That actually is what he's doing. You're absolutely right. I just realized. Oh my god, it doesn't matter. It's over. It's over. And time! GG's! Nice no. job, Sunder. Let's bring him in. Hello. Alright, GG's! Nice job, Sunder! Thanks, was it close? Not, a, not even close. <laughs> <laughs> Schlongster has right. had so many right, backtracks, it's not even funny. GG. Nice I had a few. <laughs> I, I fucked up so hard. Schlongster dude. had to backtrack for, and I count, grip grab, pack whack, <laughs> taxi pack, powering oh up the saucer of peril. Oh I my totally gosh. forgot about like the process for getting like the battery and shit. And I was like, wait, at the first pack whack it. And then well, I also have the fucking taxi packet. Well, my question was, so you guys both had to set up a DCW anyways to do saucer. And my question was, Schlongster, you could have DCW'd into toxic waste. And then you wouldn't have had to get pack whack taxi pack for anything. Oh, you could wait, have DCW'd wait, you straight in there. And then you can get... DCW to toxic ways? Yeah, it's yeah. different than like the other ones. So if, you have you, like... if you go to JRL and you shoot the button that's by the pigs, do you know what I'm talking about? Um. Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking if about. If you shoot that button by the pigs and then go into fuel depot, you'll get transported into toxic ways. Yep. The only you thing is, not watch will... another cut the only thing though is you would have had to DCW in there with 525 notes. Yeah, I because mean, because once you yeah, leave, you true. can't get back in. But so which that, which that which uh, one did Schlongster? Okay, pick? so Schlongster did F two and you did F eight, but you guys both missed the insanely overpowered F one, 
with the uh, insane boss synergy of doing and, Dragon and Brothers Minji synergy. five bosses. Oh yeah, and that's Regal oh, Bash that's synergy. Crazy. Regal yeah. Bash synergy to get up to Clinkers. I mean, it was an insane and... row. Oh yeah, that, that would have been crazy. Well, congratulations, Sunder. Unfortunately, this does not progress you in the tournament at all. This was a nice <laughs> exhibition match to, uh, you know, hype up the tournament. Uh, ent bracket, right? <laughs> entries for the bracket are still available for anybody willing to join. Again, it is a $1,000 prize pool. They do close tonight. So if you are wanting to join, if you want to get a part of this Press F to Bingo action, you must join tonight. Otherwise, it's closed. And we will move forward with the 12 people for now. Uh, yeah, Schlongster, Sunder, thank you guys for being available today to sort of hype up the tournament. We really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. And, uh, yeah, it was yeah, fun. GG, Sunder. I hope you guys thank had fun. You. And, uh, yeah, we will see you guys next time. We're going to start scheduling matches here pretty soon, probably in the next week or so. Oh, so. shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fucking go. Bringing it back. All right, GGs, and we'll see you guys next time. GGs. GGs.